Hi, I'm Mr. Theodore Dancy Rivero, but you can call me Sir Teddy. These videos are supplements for the modular modality of our classes, and it is just that. Buckle up and get ready to go on a communication journey with me. This is Oral Communication. For today, we will be reviewing the models of communication. Before we begin, we should make clear that these models are diagrams that show the process of communication in different lights. These three models are different because technically, they are theories from three different proponents of how communication flows. The first one is a Shannon Weaver model. From a source, the message is sent through a transmitter by a signal to a channel which is perceived by the receiver for the message to get to its destination. The channel can be bothered by noise. In the example, it is very obvious that the message is from RuPaul to Michelle Visage. But in this model, there is nothing about the reply of Michelle Visage. It is only a one-way process model. Moving on to the second one, the Schramm's model. The model shows that from an encoded message, it is sent to the receiver to decode and interpret. The receiver then encodes a feedback message to the sender, which he or she also decodes and interprets. In the example, RuPaul asks Michelle a question and she replies back making the model a two-way process model. RuPaul asks, Michelle replies. The last one is a transactional model. It is basically the same thing as the Schramm's model. The only difference is that anywhere along the way of the process, there are noise that can stop the communication process or enables miscommunication. In the example, RuPaul asks and Michelle replies. Anywhere in that process, there can be noise. It can be that they are too far apart or maybe the loud laughter from the group. So those are the three models of communication. See you next time for the next lesson.